Hi everyone, it's Veronica and I am here with part three of my stamp and scrapbook expo experience. This part is all about the shopping. I am going to share with you everything that I purchased uh, from the expo. Okay, now when I went, I had a wish list. This was it. Didn't get that. After I looked at it, I said, oh, I have a butterfly that's similar to that. And that should have never been on there because Simon Says Stamp is not there. So, um, keep that in mind when I share what I purchased. Okay, the first night that we were there, which was Thursday night during the make and take, I shared with you that the vendors are there, select vendors are there, and they come in with uh, so many of their products. At the make and take, when the vendors open up, these are the same products that you will see on the show floor on Friday and Saturday. However, they're at a discounted price. So that's always a good time to pick up some things that you're looking for. So this is what I picked up at that time. Okay, these kits, which I absolutely love. And I tell you what, if it wasn't for Faye, I probably wouldn't have known that they were there. Relax and scrap, she was on point. They say open, Faye was there. But she came back with these awesome kits. Now, all of my kits are not like hers. I think two out of the three that I purchased are like hers. But I love Simple Stories. And you get, this says it has 104 pieces. And this is everything in the kit. You get the paper pad, the whole nine. Ephemera, enamel dots. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, I will be using this for a trip that I have that's coming up. And disclaimer, I have on a clip-on mic and I'm going to have to bend and stretch and do a lot to get this stuff um, in on the uh, video. So if you see a black cord, that's what it is. All right, so that's the first kit, this one. I thought was so cute. And that's all the pieces in there. That has a six by eight paper pad. And I honestly cannot remember what the prices were, but they were excellent prices. This one is Simple Stories also. So I tried to pick kits that had the paper pads in there. So I'm excited about that. All right. So that's that one. Oh, and this are the pieces on the back. This is a spring farmhouse. Okay. This came from Brian's shop, which is Craft Fancy. This is this um, American Crafts cardstock. This is the vanilla. This one is called Autumn. Look at those colors. And the last one is Crimson. And I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sorry about the little shaking, but this paper is heavy. So that's the Crimson. These were $9 a pack. And I think on the day of the show, they were $12, I believe. Okay. I also bought some Nouveau Drops from him. They These were $2 a bottle. They're all crystal except for this one, which is Jewel. And this is Strawberry. This one is Blue Babe. This one is... Plum Pudding, and this one is Apple Green. Very pretty, pretty colors. Okay. And then from Elizabeth Crafts, this stamp and die set I thought was so cute, and it's really going to be pretty easy to color. So these are the stamps and the coordinating dies. Now this was either $5 or, I don't think it was 10, I think it was five, I'm not, don't hold me to it, I can't remember. This is also a stamp set 
for the holidays. And this um, is the Tim Holtz. And I think that came, mm, I don't know what uh, vendor I bought this from, but the Merry Christmas. I love that font. Awesome. Okay. So that was all that I purchased on Thursday night. Okay. Now, um, I have some Mickey projects that I need to work on. I wanted to do some autograph books. So this came from Want to Scrap. Look at these Mickey heads. So you can paint these or do whatever with them. So I thought those were cute. And these came from Eyelet Outlet. I just love these buttons. And these are little arrows that say Mickey. Super cute. It also has Dream, Adventure, and I cannot, yeah, I think that's pretty much it that's in there. So that was Eyelet Outlet. This I bought, Brian didn't have this um, Thursday night, but this was on the show floor. I saw Sybil B create, oh, I'm sorry, not this one. This came from Brian's shop though. This came from his shop. Um, and I am trying to, oh, here it is right here. I bought two things from his sh uh, shop that day. This one I think is so cute. And it comes with the butterflies individually so that you can do them in different colors. And then this is the one I saw Sybil B use in a project, the country church frame, adorable. Okay. All right. And then from, let's see. This is Crazy Creations, the outline stickers. I just love these ties. And I was thinking masculine cards and of course the coffee ones. I stopped by the uh, Stampin' Up! vendor and got some more dimensionals. Absolutely love those. Okay, and then this is Photo Play. I forgot what the deal was there, um, but I don't think I was even purchasing enough to get the deal, but Joyce wanted something as well. So we just went in together and that way we got that, um, the deal that he was offering. So this is the daily grind. And this one, this was like a mini set that they had um, for like $2 or something. And then these, the Daily Grind um, die cuts to go with those paper collections, okay? All right, and this is the stamp set that um, we received in the Rubbernecker stamp class. We did the watercolors. This is that stamp set. Look at all of this. How about that? I love it. So that was the free set we got in the class. Just had to go and redeem your um, class ticket. And this is Paper Nest Dolls. This is a stamp. I just love her hair. Love it. And that's the size of the stamp there. That was her card. And there was one other stamp I wanted that they had, but um, she was out of stock, so I ordered it. So I should be getting that this week. But this one is called Coffee Avery. And I think the one that I ordered was the one that had the Afro Puffs. Okay. Now, I also went to Nicole Peterson's booth. And... I want to get into um, blending, ink blending. So I bought this set of uh, brushes. They Oh, that head is super, super soft on those. And then I went to, and I, I keep saying, and then, I don't know what order I went to these booths in, but, and some I visited a couple of times. 
because I thought I was going to buy like this one thing and wasn't going to go back. So I had to eat crow on that one. But our daily bread, this was a freebie they were giving when you made a purchase. These are such pretty papers. I mean, it has um, their advertisement on it. But that was the paper you received. So that can be used to make some gorgeous shabby cards or whatever, toppers, whatever. All of their items were 30% off. I saw Joyce use this on a card this Merry Christmas. I love it. And of course, it's that one piece. So the you'll never miss the dot on the eye. I saw a card that they had created and saw this elephant. I said, and I didn't know that they had created a card with this. I didn't even know they had a baby set. So I asked the lady who was working there, where did that elephant come from? And she took me right to this set. And I thought it was adorable. Not only are the stamps in here, but the coordinating dies are in there as well. Yes, indeed. And this is one of the items that was on my list. I don't know if you've seen this uh, fishing set, but some of the vests that they have created with this, and it's not just for fishing or hunting, it's whatever. I am in love. So I wanted to make sure I got that. And then I saw this set, which I thought was really cute. And it has the coordinating die, and those are the stamps. And then um, this candy nougat holder, this carrier. And those are all the dies in there. And 30% off, you really can't beat that because I don't know if they offer that much online whenever they have a sale. So 30% was a big deal. All right. Now, I mentioned that we had received vouchers. After you sign up for so many classes and whatnot, you get different gifts. And we got two $20 vouchers. So there's a specific booth that you're to go to to redeem those vouchers. And... This is what I got with mine. You can always use bags when you go to crops. So once I got these enamel dots and this one says, crafting is cheaper than therapy sometimes. <laughs> I love that. Love, love, love it. So that one. And I also got a second one because the selection was not as good as I thought it should have been but I got this Alta new stamp set and this bag just a girl with scissors so I thought those were really cute all right I went to be creative and these are the items I purchased there again Mickey projects in mind and they always have the cutest pins. Uh, my friend Bernice was there that Friday and she bought one pin, but then she thought about this one and texted me and asked me would I pick this one up. So I thought this one was really cute, really pretty. All right, and then Mickey Projects again. Got some of these. These are some fine, tip tweezers so I'm going to try those out I needed some bar magnets <laughs> that is stuck to everything for my uh, misty so they had those there so I got two of those and another tweezer set and this pen I think is for me in fact I know it's for me last year I got a red one but it had like a bling ball top so I wanted the uh, diamond top and this pencil they demonstrated um, using it to pick up sequins and whatnot um, you sharpen it you keep it as blunt as possible you don't want to point you just 
come near your sequin and bam, you have it. And when you touch wherever you're putting it, it releases it. So it was pretty cool. I thought that was a good piece to have, a good tool to have. Alrighty, let's move Mickey's heads out of the way. And I had mentioned that I wanted to get into ink blending. So this was at, oh, wait a minute. The stuff I just did was Tall Mouse, Tall Mouse with the tweezers and all that. That was Tall Mouse. This was Be Creative. And I was like through with them for having this in the checkout line. And it was a good deal. You buy 10 and I think it was maybe $20. But look at these colors. Look at that. A lot of colors I did not have. And I love stickles. That one is so pretty. Sorry about that. Trying to go through this so this video won't be super, super long. And here. That's grapefruit. I think that is gorgeous. And these. So those are my stickles. And this was the ink, the uh, oxide set that I got. But there is another set that I want as well. But this is good for a start. Good for a start. Okay. And of course, you know I had to visit my folk. I saw Shantae with this stamp and I thought it was perfect. A hand stitched background. That was probably the only time I went to Heartfelt with my free uh, stamp coupon and didn't buy a coordinating die. And of course this didn't have a die, but that was probably the only time that I have done that. This was half price, this gift of love box. And this is what that looks like. So it's a nice height, it's seven inches tall. All right, and this Audrey sent me a photo of, and I was like, wow, gotta have it. So of course I used my co a coupon on this one as well, got the stamp and had to get the coordinating die. But that is beautiful. And you start adding all of the glitter and stuff on there, oh my goodness gorgeous here's that butter fluttering butterfly that i used on a card so that's the die and i'm telling you now i don't generally purchase anything unless i have the free coupon and then i just buy the die to go with it um this goes with this these ornaments and you use these sentiments to put on this banner adorable and this stamp is a full stamp right here all right and i love petunias did not have a petunia flower die so here we go this is the small one so the other ones have to be huge so i'm looking at these petals two by four for that wow that's big I mean, that's compared to what the other one would be. All right, now, what else did I do? Okay, Echo Park was there. That's a first. That's a first for us that I can remember. So you got this really cute bag. They had deals going on as well. I love Echo Park paper. So these are the collections that I purchased from them. Um... You know I had to do Disney and I have the other collection. Let me get to that. But this, this coffee, how cute is that? And it had the chipboard accents. He did not have this in 12 by 12, but that was okay. So I got two of those. Um, this one was the uh, paper pad that was at Hobby Lobby in the six by six. So this is the 12 by 12. Beautiful papers. 
and Kim Poss was there, if you remember my talking about that, and uh, she knew the gentleman because they were always at the California shows. They never came here, so they were just so tickled to see each other. Okay, here's the 12 by 12 in this one. Wish Upon a Star, and then the 6x6. Six six. Magic and Wonder, love it. And I would not have bought all this if it was not such a good deal. And these, there was one I did not get that I hate that I didn't now. It had stripes, but anyway, just it was just a pad of stripes. But these are double-sided papers. And then I also got this one, the Rockabye Baby. And this is the back side. Okay. And, um... Oh, this bag, when you spent so much at Be Creative, you got to select a Disney bag. I got one last year, so this is the one I selected this year. And you didn't have to spend a lot. It might have been $20, I don't know. All right, and then I won a one of the door prizes. One of the door prizes. Uh, Shantae texted me and said, V, you won. So, you know, I went making a mad dash over there. So what I won was a $20 gift certificate from Easy Laser Designs, and they do layouts. So these are the layouts that I picked up because normally I do my own layouts, but since I won, why not? All right. And when you see these, this is why I bought these. Well, I picked them out because I am speaking those things that be not as though they were. All right. How cute are these? And this one. I love this. Our family has grown by two feet. That is so cute. And even with this one, they kept it simple and just added glitter on all of the ornaments. It was a simple layout, but very, very cute. So that's what I got with my $20. And then the last thing, and I'm hoping it's the last thing that I purchased was this. And I know it's hard to see, hard to get it all in frame. Let me see if I can raise this up just a little bit. But this came from Best Craft Organizers. And this is a ribbon spooler. And I was thinking about all my ribbons just thrown in a bin. And when I saw him demonstrate this, I thought it was awesome. Now I just played with it. This is not how it's going to look, but once you get them um, rolled, you leave this hanging and you just pull it out from there. And it comes with the little thing that you wind it on. There are two sizes of containers, this size and a smaller size. And you can do washi tapes in this, whatever. Now, let me see if I remember how I got this open. Because I thought this was perfect. And of course, I'll be doing this when I'm just sitting and watching a movie or whatever. But anyway, this was, and I meant to bring the spool back here, but this was like a regular size spool of ribbon. This was a partial one. This was a regular size and it gets down, and this is not neat y'all. It gets down to this size, which is awesome. So you can store a lot of ribbon in here. I'll have to rewind those, but this was a good purchase for me. This was $25. They do have a website. It's called Best Craft Organizers. They have a system for your dies and stamps that's out of this world. 
and it attaches to a rail which is on your wall so that was really cute but I will do a separate video on how this works in case you're interested in ordering it but that was my last purchase well take not my last yeah see I forgot these okay again speaking those things that be not as though they were that came from petticoat parlor they do layouts also all right so that is my shopping experience with the stamp and scrapbook expo you get gobs and gobs of coupons while you are waiting in line and i actually still had them you get them both days Man, look at that. Look at all this stuff. And I did not use not one. <laughs> and some are not um, actually for the deals that you can get there. Some are just letting you know what specials they have going on. And then Heartfelt has this uh, loyalty thing that they do. Um, if you pay $100 and this lasts a lifetime, then every time you purchase from them, you get 20% off. So I usually only buy from them like once a year. So I'm really going to have to think about that. It's that going to be worth it in the long run for me. Um, but anyway, that is what I purchased from the expo. Thank you all for stopping by again and watching. The last video will be coming up. And that one has to do with the crop and what I, uh, what project I completed at the crop. All right, everyone, happy crafting.